Hi, this is Cheryl of Natural Diva Tude, and today I am here to talk about how to henna your hair and the type of face mask I use. So basically, it's, this is just like um, my usual weekend regimen. I thought it'd be um, kind of cool for you to see me just like this <laughs> in the midst of uh, me working on it. I do have a cold, so my voice is a little froggy-ish, but um, hey Tamu, I decided to make this video after I saw you said you didn't know what to do to henna your hair. <clears throat> I have been using henna for years, even before I went natural two and a half years ago, roughly, but I buy the product that I use from Lush. Lush is a company that makes all natural products, makeup, stuff for your hair and your body, your face, and they're based in Vancouver. Great company, great concept. I really like them, so I like supporting them. They're also eco-friendly, so you can like return things to the store and get... Um, they reuse the tubs. They put expiration dates on everything. So I just like the whole concept of Lush. So um, I like to support their business. So I like um, this brand. I kept the wrapper of henna called Caca Noir. Uh, if you know anything about French, Noir is black. But my hair doesn't really come out black. It has some interesting brownish highlights that go with it, but that's the name of the company. When they send it to you, it's a huge brick of product. It's just like a big brick. And <clears throat> after trying a million different ways to break it down, I, I realized that the simplest way is to put it in a glass bowl and put just a little bit of hot water in it until you get like a muddy uh, kind of texture for it. Um, too thick doesn't work real good. We're trying to spread it around your hair. Um, but kind of soupy, thicky is the best way to do it. So I just keep adding hot water, just like maybe tablespoons until I get it like I want it. Um, I use like half the brick. If you had like really long hair down your back, you'd probably use the whole thing. But I don't need it for my length. And once I stir it and get it, kind of muddy soupy I just start applying it to my hair like conditioner um, I don't have one of those plastic uh, shower cap things so I just use clean wrap which works really good especially if you ever put something on your hair that's kind of drippy it kind of keeps it all locked in so I just take a long piece of the clean wrap and wrap it around my hair and then I might wrap one to cover the top like a beehive and wrap it again um, it takes it a while for the for the color to change with henna. So I'm probably going to have it like this three hours. The instructions, I think, say you can go up to like six. I usually don't go that long. But um, my family went to church without me today. I'm going to make dinner. Um, I don't have anything else to really do. <clears throat> Still trying to fight this cold. All right. So since I got this on my hand for three hours... Um, I decided to use a face mask. I kind of do deep conditioning and face mask things together since I'm just kind of stuck like this. Um, so I also use um, Lush Cosmetics face mask. And they have different types based on your skin type. I use what's called the Sacred Truth. Am I getting that there? Yeah, it's called the Sacred Truth. I think you can see at the bottom, you bring it back. You bring this back, and they'll give you a free mask. You know, so they're like eco-friendly. And there's a real cute thing they do. They have little stickers for all the employees. So like this girl actually made this container of face mask. Is that cute or what? And they tell you it has expirations. So thanks, uh, Violetta. Yeah, she made this one. Um, I'll tell you some of the stuff is in it because, I mean, if you really like doing things on your own from scratch, you could make their stuff. You know, so just it's a time issue for me, just being busy. Um, they have wheatgrass, ginseng, and uh, green tea, fresh papaya, and some cleansing clays. 
and butters. And um, it's really soft when I put it on. And my skin feels really moisturized when I take it off. So um, I got this from my mother. A lot of my routines I got from my, watching my mom growing up. And she used to do a face mask. It used to scare me to death. And uh, I scare my son to death now. <laughs> but I swear by a um, face mask to keep my skin moisturized and... Uh, clean and smooth so I'm gonna probably rinse this off and I don't know it's starting to get harder maybe another 30 minutes but I'm gonna have this thing on here for a while um, but I just wanted to also show you that being natural for me it goes beyond just my hair you know I kind of try to commit to as many natural regimens as I possibly can not all of them but most of them but when you, um, in three or five hours, I'm just going to rinse it out. And with henna, you need to rinse it for a while because it's it can be a little gritty in certain areas because I don't always get all the little bitty bricks mashed all the way. And so there'll be little pockets that'll feel like I got a ball of dirt in my head. It's messy, but I just really like the way my hair feels and not just gives it a nice rich uh, color and tone it actually feels conditioned as well um, I've read pros and cons about um, using hennas and um, you know I must say that as a result of using hennas my hair isn't um, hasn't suffered any damage um, as far as I can tell my my ends um, my ends are probably worse off for me just manipulating my hair versus using a henna. Um, so, but, you know, I always suggest that anything you want to try, you read up on it and determine for yourself. You ask a professional what they think, if you trust their opinions, and then make your decision. Um, but if I had to choose between harsher colors and henna, I'd pick henna. I, ever since I've gone natural, I've only put henna in my hair and not put any other color or any other chemical on it. And I'll probably keep doing that. So this is uh, this is my henna routine. It's easy. You just got to get it soft with some hot water and kind of mash it up. I do use uh, plastic gloves the whole time I'm working with it because it stains everything. I put a shirt on on top of this shirt. And then I put a towel around. I still managed to get henna on my shirt. But it's just a, you know, it's it's just a plain old t-shirt. No big deal. So um, just take your time. It's really easier than it might seem. Um, I haven't tried other companies too often. So I couldn't tell you what the process might be. But with Lush, you're getting a big old brick that you need to mash up and get soupy and slap it in your hair. Be careful. Put on gloves. It's messy. Um, but it looks nice. I might come back and show you guys a picture of what my hair looks like. I didn't really plan on doing much to it today since I'm not going anywhere. But I still might show you the color. Okay, I hope you're having a blessed day. And uh, keep being beautiful. Alright? Peace.